So you guys have asked, and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. Today we're gonna go adventuring again, and we're gonna see what uh, other things maybe lurk in this world. Um, for right now, I mean, I've kind of adventured quite a bit. We found quite a bit of different things this world has to offer, but I haven't quite found everything. I don't know exactly everything in this world. Um, and there's a few things that can actually kind of help me adventure. If we go to actually additions, or not actually additions, sorry, um, cyclic, um, there is a fruit in here. I don't know if it's disabled or not. This one, corrupted chorus fruit. If we make this, it will help us kind of see through walls a little bit. Like we do need a bit of sugar, which I mean, I should have plenty of at this point. Um, yeah, we make a few of these. It will let us see through walls and it's kind of cool actually what it can do. Um, so let's just go ahead and eat one and we can go in like spectator mode and we can now see underground. <gasps> Did you see that? What I saw that right there. And then when this, when this effect is done, you get blindness and you get sent right back. So I just, I just seen that. I don't know if you guys caught what I just see, had just saw. Let's head back. Let's because that's that's near our base, right? I'm going to eat another one. Where at was that thing? That was near our base, I'm pretty sure. OK. All right, let's go back to where I was at because I did. I mean, I just seen that. Oh, it wasn't it? so I had tried fighting this thing before. Didn't work out so hot. Um, I see that. Oh, it's right there. It's off in this direction. There's a chest there too. That's kind of weird. Like there's a full size chest. So like this is stuff you wouldn't be able to see normally. But because we're able to eat this stuff, we're able to find out exactly where all these underground things are hiding. Like this random chest, for example. Or over there being that uh, that sort of temple-y area. Go this way. Hopefully we have enough to last us. I think it's right... I think it's like right in this area is where this thing is located. Yes, it is like right here. Like going right here and going straight down, we will get right to where we need to go. Okay, so perfect. Let's go straight down and let's see if we can't fight this guy because I've not uh, not been able to yet. Okay, will this guy, this guy probably won't even recognize me. Oh, there he goes. Oh, shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Can I punch him? Okay, that doesn't work. Oh. All right, stay away from that. Oh, oh, oh. I want to try and pull the sword. Is that how this works? He swings for me. I dodge and I tuck and roll. Okay, he sees me now. Oh. Come here. Come on. Quit spinning. Get out of here. Oh yeah. I I think our shadow step is affecting it a lot. That's supposed to be like a one shot kill, I think. There he goes. How how do we do what? I thought we could, like, try and pull on that sword. Maybe we have to hit him while he's like that. Yeah, that's his weak spot. Oh, we just did a lot of damage, I think. Oh, wow. Oh. He just about one shot us. I need to pay attention. Oh, 
Oh, the backhand. Oh, I wasn't ready for the backhand. I was not ready for the backhand. All right, come at me, bro. I got you. Is he weak to picks? Okay, so that still did a lot of damage. Ow. Okay. The backhand swing, I'm not ready for. Come at me, bro. Yeah, that. That double move. Hit me with the hammer. Come on. Oh, this is kind of... It's like so cruel doing like this boss battle. Nice. We're doing, doing a bit of damage. Kind of surprised. All right, swing twice. Oh, whoa. How about we not do that? There we go. We about got him killed. I wonder what he drops. All right, do your swing thing. I don't want to be near you when you do it, but do it. <laughs> oh! All right, there he goes. All right, that's one swing. Ah, here we go. Nice. We, I mean, we almost got him killed. Like this guy's pretty, pretty beefy for what he is. He's definitely getting mad. I wonder if this round, like each time he gets a new move. Come on, you got this. All right, so here he goes. All right, super swing. Hit me, hit me one more time. Wow, I think one more and we got him dead. One more and he's gone. Oh, oh wow, okay, I'm out of here. Whew, that was close. I was expecting him to do like the foot thing. There's rails underneath me. All right, and... Oh, one more. One more, and I think we got it. Oh. So much for adventuring today. We're going to be fighting this guy all night. All right. Back swing. Forward swing. No? No roundhouse? Come at me with a hard, hard hammer. Oh, not that. There we go. Boom! Bam! Get wrecked! He's out of here. Oh, he got his helmet! Look at that. Never breaks. That is wicked. I think that was worth it all on its own. Just to have this is something we can put on our armor stand. So on top of that, we also got the axe, which apparently never breaks. Right click to attack in a large arc. And it says shift right click to slam the ground to create a shockwave. Oh. What absurdities is this? Oh my gosh. And then shift right click. Oh. That's cool. That is cool. <laughs> it works on all these blocks. Does it work on this uh, meteor block? Oh my gosh. How much damage does that? I mean, that killed that chicken. I mean, to give me, don't get me wrong, chickens don't have that much health. But that's just the the blocks. A cow would be a much better thing to test, or a sheep. So it did six damage. This probably does a lot more though. Eight. It did eight at least to that that thing. Ten. I can uh, only imagine <laughs> how much. How much is it? It does nine. This is nine damage. I, I don't know if that's just from hitting normally. So I've I've never actually seen this before. I know we have to kill this guy, and I really don't want to, but I've never seen him out in the wild before. 
I've always seen him like in his his cage. The giant. He's got his sheep, which is normal. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Oh, oh yeah, he wants to he wants to attack me. I want to be your friend, man. Wow, we destroyed that 2000 in no time. What? That was like three shots. We just completely destroyed that guy. That poor guy. We also, I mean, we had quests for him, which I mean, we needed to get done. But still, oh my gosh. Wow, I'm, I'm really digging the exploration tab here. What is this? The Cyclops, an irritable giant that tends to that tends to a flock of sheep in a stony, treasure-filled seaside cove. Well, this one wasn't, but I'm still kind of intrigued by the uh, rewards. We got two for that. You know, I, I think I deserve two of those chests for the awful atrocity that I just committed by killing that friendly Cyclops. This is a tentacle from if you've never seen a tentacle before, it's it's hilarious. But I want to save this one because I'm like, we might be able to summon those, and and like farm them because I think tentacles drop special stuff from uh, Thomcraft. So actually, I might want to save that, and let's go ahead and open up these uh, these black market containers. Maybe we'll get lucky. Ring of Thalek the Almighty. I hope that's cool. Creative spikes. Okay, lightning hammers can be picked up and thrown. Oh, it's from Electrobob's Wizardry. It's nothing that crazy, but we did get a creative spike. That, like, instant kills mobs and drops their loot and stuff. That's kind of useful. By the way, it's actually... We should be farming these, uh, these trees as well. We have the ability to open our inventory and just put things in it so at all times because we are farming the infinity um energy units or farming the infinity infinity cards from the enderman so that makes life a lot easier like and like if we find these trees i mean a lot of them have chests in it we can see it pretty clearly usually with uh with night vision like like right here and i think there's uh, rewards for collecting all of these as well all of these inventory pets actually some of the inventory pets we're completely disabled from crafting. Uh, like this one? Sorry, guys. Um, that, that was actually probably my fault. Because it was available until I started using it. How? Why are these guys spawning? I have never seen them spawn before like that. How, how quickly can we drop this? Oh my gosh. I swear, it like, takes down... Like, it just completely destroys... What? Inflicts weakness to all ho nearby hostiles. Area of effect weapon. Do we use it on the, the mob? Oh, it does. Oh. Oh my gosh. This guy is horrifying, by the way. Yeah, the more we kill stuff, the more stuff we get overall. Like, I'm... What was that? <laughs> I want that. I actually like that. Oh, I already have that hat. I thought I didn't have that one. The, the more I, I seem to go around in this pack, the more stuff I seem to uncover. It's insane. It's just completely bonkers. There's so much stuff in this pack. So this is actually kind of a fun thing. If we come into this, we are actually locked in here. Um, yeah, we are in. We are encased, and we have to go through with this battle. This is a cool thing, and yeah, we actually can find some pretty cool loot from Electro Bob's Wizardry in here. Is that just in general? Reduces fire damage by thirty percent. Just in general, that's cool. That's, that's actually, it that would have been really nice to get early on. I love that because we did Astro Sorcery, we can see the uh, constellations in the sky just hanging out. Thank you for taking out one of these guys. Um, I don't know if they were 
particular to anything. I guess that fish, that fish's bond, fish's bond or whatever it's called. But we ended up getting some uh, some loot from it. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. Cy Cyclops skull. Is this used for anything? By the way, uh, can be placed on the ground or walls as a trophy. Nice, more decoration stuff. I will take that. Let's see. And yeah, this, I guess we have to right click it as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the rewards for this. Mushroom stew, a loot box, potion of love, and bounty hunter. What's potion of love do? Just random love. Bo bounty hunter's mask. For when makeup isn't enough. Wow. Is, oh no, there's a fairy. Well, that, yeah, that's a style. That's, uh, that's definitely a style. <laughs> that's definitely a style to go with. Wow. Didn't realize how dark it was until that point. It's crazy being able to just instantly destroy everything here. Uh, but I did notice while I was looking at the bounty, there's still, oh wow, there still is an area. What is this place? Ominous Woods. This is interesting. Um... There still is some quest from the Twilight Forest. Like, there's a cave troll. Um, I thought I'd killed it. Uh, it's underneath the uh, the giant area. And then there's also this right here, the King Spider, which I didn't really see. But there's the Summoner, which right here says only uh, can be uh, like it will only spawn like it only found in the beneath. Uh, on a player placed dragon bone block. They are tough, come prepared. I kind of want to do that. Like it says come prepared, but like, I kind of want to go after it and see what they mean by tough. Like, does it do a lot of damage? Like I, I don't know. So I think these are the bone blocks that they apparently spawn on. So what I want to try and do is go a little bit further out here and try to place them on the fringe. Is it particular about the way it's placed that matters? Okay, ow. Wow, our sword sometimes doesn't one shot these guys. It, bone block apparently is glass proof. So they're going to apparently spawn on this. Dr uh, they spawn on dragon bones. If I go far enough away, the chances of them respawning, like if I go 128 blocks away, they should have a chance of despawning. When we go back, they should have a chance of spawning. Okay, and I think it did. Oh, okay, so yeah, they definitely spawned. Okay, and apparently they're tough. Oh. Okay, not tough enough though. <laughs> Take that summoner. So if you're wondering how that worked, well, we just got some summoner orbs apparently. I think these let you pick up mobs or something like that. Thought they did. Maybe not. <laughs> Empty. I, I'm pretty sure these uh, will let you summon them because I thought there was a quest for it. We got a backpack. Another swarmer. So out of all that, oh man. You know the funny thing is, is I've killed a swamp hag and... No, wait. No, I have it. Swamp Hag is from uh, the Between Lands. Huh. That was just unlocked, I think. I wonder how much is actually here. So there's a, a Vindicator. We haven't messed with a Vindicator yet. Um. Demons are... Okay, summoned from the ritual requiring... Filling blood of a villager to start. There is so much, so much there. Now, I would explore this area more, but honestly, it 
what you see is literally what the whole dimension is. It's usually just a place to quarry. Um, there's a lot more ore. The, the ores are so much more densely packed here. So this is just a place to really set up a quarry and go from top to bottom. Because, yeah, there's a lot of ore here. A whole bunch. So really underwater, I haven't really been able to adventure much. Or much, not much. Adventure much in. Um, and for no real reason. I think I still have the water charm. Yeah, that prevents me from drowning. Ooh, a blacker lotus. That kind of helps. We we haven't even touched Batania yet. Or even thought about doing Batania. There's still so much to do in this pack. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'm probably going to end up starting, like, a sub-series where I have another series going at the same time this one's going and kind of split the days up because of how much there just is to do in this pack. That or switch to live streaming, which I've already live streamed this pack, so... I really don't want to do that. I want to continue to do this all on YouTube. So you guys seem to be enjoying it. As long as you guys are giving these thumbs up and getting the likes on the video, I really do appreciate it. I'll continue playing this pack. That's what you, if that's what you guys want to see, that's what we'll do. What is down here? So there's tons of ships underwater. We can see mostly what's underwater by walk, you know, kind of going around here. And I'm, I was hoping that there would actually be stuff in these like chests. Like, I don't know what this is. Is this a chest? It's another chest. Is there stuff in it though? Oh, it just busted open. Nice. So there is actually stuff in it. So here's something that's got a little bit more to explore. All right, we got a quarters here that has a couple of chests. Ooh. This has some loot in it. I really want these advanced machine frames. The more of these I can get, the less I have to craft of them later on. A master spell book. Steve's head. A nice diver's boots. I mean, this is all all really good stuff. Like, especially the, the advanced. All right. Well, there was nothing preventing us from going down there. Is there any mobs or anything? I'll take that. Oh, oh, yeah, there's definitely mobs. Definitely mobs. All right. And not too much here either. I will take this. The conduit probe is actually kind of nice. You don't have to craft it. You can just kind of have it there. So as far as exploring the overworld, that's the crazy thing in this pack, right? You have the overworld. Oh, there's loot in here as well. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. So yeah, in the overworld, there is just a lot to do. But throw the fact that dimensions are in here from um, RF Tools. RF Tools Dimensions is also in this pack. It's just insane the amount of exploring and exploration that can be done in this pack. There is just so much to uncover. It's just, it's just crazy the amount. This underneath here is an entire dungeon. If we take a look, I don't, does it say, unless you phase through walls for a few seconds. So I wonder if we can just phase like right straight down to the bottom room. Will this let us phase here? Oh, oh that's so cheaty. That is 100% super cheaty. Because, let's just go down to the main the main attraction here. Oh my gosh. This is the place you want to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is where all the loot is. And we're so powerful, we're not really going to take any damage from any of these guys. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Those things are so powerful. So powerful. Wow. All right, we need to find the enchantment room. I mean, that's the best part of this, right? Which one has the enchantment room? I don't I don't really know. Like just my hammer can kill most of these mobs. All right, spiders, get out of here. 
Ow, that one is literally not taking any damage. I'm hitting it. Okay, there it goes. Um, This is definitely not the room. <laughs> However, there is a chest over here, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, the room that has all the loot. There is one particular room that I'm looking for. Will I find it? Nobody knows. Apparently, it's got block above it. I'll take that diamond sword or diamond shovel. This is a blaze room. I mean, which is always a good thing to, to have. This over here, it's nothing that is blocked off. Get wrecked. Make sure the note we went this way. Another blaze room. Yeah, this area usually takes, I mean, it, it probably takes a good, even with the, the armor have, oh, here's the room. It takes about 30 minutes or so. Um, we want to get in here and just get this cleared out. Oh, yeah. Take as much of the goods as we possibly can. Normally, like I said, normally this would take a little bit of time to even get to. Wow, the loot is just not giving it today. Wow. Where's all the good stuff? Ah, oh, there it is. But yeah, usually there's some golden tools and stuff. I mean, but just to be able to get down here, like if, at the point where we're at, it's not really a big deal because of just how crazily overpowered we are. But yeah, we are just taking out these guys. Just one shot in them. No problem. Those those little fellas are nasty though. Ugh. And let's break through this room. Yep, let's get through that nastiness. And we're done. We're through this. Wow. I mean, not much here. Let's see if we can phase enough. So you like get out of here, yeah. Oh, and we have all the controls of spectator mode. So we can use the scroll wheel to make herself faster. Oh, that is, that is so broken. Oh man. I, I hope the, I hope the pack dev doesn't remove that after me using them. Um, probably will probably, probably be removed in the next update. If, if the pack gets updated. Oh, yep. That was, uh. That's a thing. That's a thing I didn't actually know those could be used for. I thought those teleported you back to the location that you started using them in. Didn't realize they straight up just let you go into the area. You guys are probably going to comment that. Uh, the, yeah, there's probably comments all over from earlier. Probably all kinds of comments. Ooh, I got to kill a bunch of these guys, by the way. Also, the more... Um, oh, ooh, come here. One shot. Just a one. That's just so crazy too powerful. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and we did a lot of adventuring. Got some more of those bounties done, which is exactly what I want to do every few episodes, you know. I want to kind of uh, lay back and, and enjoy some of the things that we've built up to. Uh, but anyways, if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that notification bell and also give this video a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.